the biggest raw material cost of our energy shots is the caffeine source. And uh. because we buy this super high quality green tea, organic green tea and guayusa extracts from uh. Ecuador. And we could tomorrow start buying a caffeine powder and cut like a significant amount of cost and improve our margins overnight. But like, that's one where we're just unwilling to make that sacrifice. And I can see why, why companies do it because yeah. it makes sense on the bottom line. But um, if you're not, if you don't draw the line somewhere, you'll compromise yourself into a commodity product overnight. Yeah. Welcome to the Natural Health Matters podcast, where it's all about maximizing your health potential so that you can look and feel your best at any age. I'm your host, David Sandstrom, naturopathic doctor and biblical health coach, and this is episode number 97. Hi, Natural Nation. Before we get started on this week's episode, I have a special announcement to make. I want to do more than just simply podcasting, and I'm trying to create a larger online presence. As many of you know, I have a social media presence now, and I'm posting on YouTube video uh, episodes as well. And I want to start working on, and well, I am working on some online courses. They're both on nutrition. One's going to be a foundational nutrition course, and the other one's going to be more advanced. And the foundational nutrition course is going to be a free course that I hope that everyone watching will avail themselves to. And the advanced course is going to be a paid course. And the problem is posting podcast episodes every week, I just simply don't have the bandwidth to do both things at the same time. So I can't make any more hours in the week, but I can rearrange my schedule. So that's what I'm going to do. From this point forward, I'm going to be posting new podcast episodes every other week. So they're still going to come out the new episodes on Wednesday, but it's going to be uh, every other week, every 14 days, there'll be a new episode. So the next episode, episode 98, will come out two weeks from today. All right, so I just wanted to make that announcement. I think you're going to really enjoy these courses. I'm enjoying putting them together. They're going to be great, but I really want to put in enough effort to make the courses good. And that's what that's what I'm going to have to do in order to, to get those courses, the quality and the attention that they deserve, that you deserve, the Natural Nation. So thanks a lot for understanding. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. New episodes will still be coming out on Wednesday mornings, but every other week from this point forward. Thanks a lot. Today we have on the show, Ethan Hirschberg. Ethan is the founder of Ethan's. Ethan and his team create clean, organic, whole food supplements that work, taste great, and are actually good for you. Ethan, welcome to Natural Health Matters. Perfect intro, nailed it. <laughs> All right, well, that's what I learned about you. Thanks and, for having uh, me. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ethan. And uh, I, I want you to know, I've been a fan of your products for a long time, and I want everybody, I want the Natural Nation to know that uh, I don't just have Ethan on because I'm curious. I have Ethan on today because I really believe in what he's doing. And excuse me just a second here. I need to take one of these. I take one of these before every interview. So uh, if you're listening on audio only, I'm taking my energy shot right now. So give me just a second. I'll drink mine too. That was good. I love them. Been Cheers. using them for, for quite a while. Cheers. And uh, they are fantastic, fantastic stuff. And so, Ethan, I know that you um, kind of have a legacy in the wellness industry. Your parents are, are owners of a health and wellness business. And could you tell us a little bit about your, your background and your history? Sure. Yeah. So, um, like you mentioned, and and I know we, we just talked about it and you've read a little bit about it, but um, this this company, which I launched four years ago, was really kind of a, a culmination of, um, I would say, both both my parents' work, uh, life's work. Uh, you know, my dad really coming from the organic food side of it, and my mom coming from the health and wellness as it relates to to cancer, um, and and really just disease in general. Um, and so, uh, like I said, we launched this this brand around four years ago with the idea that we could actually make uh supplements that are good for you i know that sounds uh <laughs> like it should be an obvious one but um after growing up around the industry and and seeing kind of how things were done and what was out there um i realized that that was not an obvious one at all um particularly tying uh organic food into supplements 
Um, yeah. because you know, why, why do people take supplements, right? It's, it's using food essentially and converting it into medicine. Um, and the truth is really what's out there and crowding the supplement aisles right now is, is really not, um, serving that function. So, right. Well, you know, I'm not in the supplement industry, but I sure do believe in supplementation, uh, and use them as supplements. Food should always be our primary source of nutrition. Uh, but supplements are important and I supplement every day, but I look for quality. And one of the things I've learned about the supplement industry is that there are uh, ignorant manufacturers out there, but there are also unscrupulous people out there that, that want to simply produce junk at the lowest cost they can, convince you that you need it, and then charge you as much as they can. Um, so we've got to be careful about what, how we choose our supplements and where we get them from. So talk a little bit about uh, sourcing quality for your products. Yeah, well, I mean, it's funny because even the word supplement, like we, I stayed away from it for a while. It's almost like a dirty little word sort of right. where people are like Supp supplements. Um, but, but really, if you think about what a supplement is for, yes, I'm completely with you. Like organic, healthy, whole food, plant-based diet, at least for me personally, is the key to a, a, a full nutrition uh, right. for your body and for yourself. Mm -hmm. But what is a supplement? It's basically... A, a distillation or it's like it's it's a condensation of essential nutrients that your body needs that you might not be able to get or or ma making it more convenient for you to get um right. and so with that in mind where we come from is thinking about how do we create supplements that are based and extracted essentially from whole foods which again i know it sounds obvious but um a lot of what you're having and even something like caffeine like that could just be a chemical compound created in the lab. So where we started from, from a product development standpoint was how do we get nutrients from whole foods into these uh, formats that people really have proven that they want. They want energy shots. They want immunity mixes, you know, think five hour emergency. Yeah. Um, they've proven that they want these things, but, but they don't really, they, you know, people, we don't really know what we're getting when we buy these things. So like when you buy an emergency, what are you really getting? Well, you're getting ascorbic acid um, in a, in a bag, you know, with maybe some right. sugar or artificial flavors. Right. And, and right. as I dug deeper and deeper with my co-founder, Sebastian, who really is kind of the, the brains behind a lot of these products, we found that in most cases, the, the vitamins that you're getting are, are not bioavailable. Um, or the caffeine you're getting is, is not, uh, being ingested by your body in a, in a favorable or beneficial way. And so we kind of uh -huh. went back to the drawing board with a lot of these things and said, well, what if you got vitamin C from a naturally occurring source, right? Mm -hmm. Or what if you got your caffeine from a naturally occurring organic source, green tea, something like that, where it's like, now you don't have to you don't have to go farm green tea and extract it and create it yourself. Like we'll do that for you, but we're right. giving you the organic and plant-based version of, of what you've been looking for. Yeah. So your product, again, I've been a fan of your products for quite a while, pr pretty much since you started and you kind of took on the, the energy drink market by storm with these shots, you know, and uh, before you, before you started making the energy shots, you know, everybody knew about five hour energy, right? They're in every convenience store and gas station you, you walk into. Uh, I've never drank one of those because what's in that bottle is toxic. And, and I'm not going to put that kind of stuff in my body. And uh, your products came along and said, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try this out. And I did. And, you know, and uh, I would start using them when I was uh, a long day flying. I've been an airline pilot for 35 years. And, and once in a while, you want a little extra edge, you know, maybe you're doing a simulator check and uh, be a great time for an energy shot, or maybe you're doing a podcast interview <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you want a little extra boost, these products are fantastic. And it's not just the energy shots that you do. It's, it's other things as well. You've got the detox, you've got the immune. Um, and, you know, I've never been a real big fan of coffee. So I, I become a huge fan of your, your energy shots because they give me lasting energy without the jitters and no crash, you know, and, and I know it, it sounds like an infomercial here, but, but it's all true. <laughs> the, these products are, are just incredible at the effectiveness and the efficacy and also the quality. Uh, I just can't say enough good things about it, Ethan. Thank you for doing what you do. Yeah. Well, that was, that was quite a pitch. I could uh, <laughs> record that and use it as our advertising, but no, I, I, I think, um, 
I appreciate you saying we've taken the energy industry by storm. It's a huge, huge industry, right? And we're just right. barely nibbling at the edge here. But uh-huh. I, I think like you're, you're in sort of the, you and probably a lot of your listeners are in the kind of like top percentages of people who are actually paying attention to the health aspect. So you like, you're, right. you're a back of label person, right? Right. And so when, when you see five hour, you flip it around and you say, Oh my God, I don't want that, that or that. But most people, right. they just see the front and they just see five hours of energy. And like you said, we all are looking for it and we all need it. And so when mm-hmm. it says that, it's like, you know, that's what I need and I, and it's available for me and I'll take it. And so we're trying to kind of meet both, groups of people, the the people like you are frankly like the easiest sell because yeah. all they have to do is flip our bottle around. I mean, occasionally I'll get a nutritionist or someone who really has a science, science background in nutrition and they'll say like, oh my God, the the you use methylcobalamin as your B12 form instead of cyanocobalamin. And like, you know, that's why I'm going to drink this. Which is the bioavailable form. Exactly. And I wish... Everybody knew to look for that, but of course, it's, yeah. it's way too high a, an expectation. So what, mm. what we do is actually like the product sort of functions as its own education because what's nice about using the better form is that people notice purely from the effect. So just touching on your, your second point, like they'll take ours and they'll notice that they're having this really clean, kind of even, like bright energy boost and then they don't get the headache or the or the jitters and so right. they may not even know why or care right um but it makes it easy for us because what we found is when we just get the highest quality ingredients it produces a superior effect yeah. so like we don't even necessarily need all our customers to know why it's better or care but if they feel it working better for them they're going to come mm-hmm. back no matter what, even if they don't care about it being healthier. Yeah. Um, so we really try to kind of hit on both aspects of that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's some people don't care about the, what they're putting in their bodies, but other manufacturers don't care what they're putting in the bottle. Um, I saw an interview one time thinking about this, and there's a guy who worked for many years for Ocean Spray that, that make the cranberry juice. You know, it's up there, and I think it's up in uh, Eastern Massachusetts where they had these cranberry bogs. And this was back in, I don't know, 60s or 70s. And he was in charge of product development. And he said, you know, we can substitute um, high fructose corn syrup for a lot of this cranberry juice that we're putting in here. We can make this 98% high fructose corn syrup, 2% cranberry juice, and it tastes almost the same. And it's going to be way cheaper. And that's what they went with. And and they and a guy asked him in the interview, did you ever stop to consider the health impl- implications of what you were doing with those ingredients? He's like, no, none of us thought about that. It was just far more profitable. And, you know, that's the way big corporations operate. They're, they're after the bottom line. And they really don't. They, our health is not on their radar for the most part. So you got to you got to find, uh, you know, a company like your like yours where you not only have the the knowledge, but the resources to put something like this together and you can feel good about using it on a regular basis. Uh, I have to say, so that's a perfect example and you see it across literally every single part of food, beverage, supplements. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think the key question for a company of any size is to determine where you draw the line and where you're no longer willing to compromise because I have to say, after doing this for a few years, like I no longer think necessarily of big companies or companies who make compromises as just evil. Like it's not evil people scheming to make you less healthy, but as you said, they have deliverables. Like somebody has a boss who has a boss who has a boss, and eventually that might be a shareholder. You know, just public right. markets or anything like that. And it's like your job is to make as much profit or right. grow as much as you possibly can, and right. so it's sort of like the system that creates this and not necessarily like bad people scheming behind the scenes. But what does happen is you just make compromise after compromise after compromise until finally you have a product that is no longer delivering what people are hoping it's going to deliver. And I think for us, like I'll, I'll admit, I mean, like we, we sacrifice margin as you might imagine on the hope that people are going to say, realize like, okay, we'll pay a little bit more for this product, but that's right. a gamble, right? And so, like, 
I've made some compromises since we started being something like, like when I first started, I thought all our juices had to be NFs, not from concentrate juices. And like, that was oh. all we put in all our products. And then, yeah. you know, we're just getting killed on freight or whatever it is, or just right. cost in general. And so then I had our nutritionist do some research and found that concentrated juices maybe aren't the worst thing. And so we, we kind of like made that calculated decision to save money on using organic juice concentrates instead of not from concentrate. Right. 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 And that's a super minor one, but it's like, that was one that I had to figure out. Am I willing to compromise on this one? Um, now, you know, we did our research and found that it was basically, you know, the same thing with the water taken out. And so, um, we felt okay with that, but I've been transparent about that. Uh, but then when it comes to things like, you know, the, the biggest raw material cost of our energy shots is the caffeine source. And Uh because we buy this super high quality green tea, organic green tea and guayusa extracts from Uh Ecuador. And we could tomorrow start buying a caffeine powder and cut like a significant amount of cost and improve our margins overnight. But like, that's one where we're just unwilling to make that sacrifice. Yeah. And so, so I, I, I totally like, I mean, again, I can see why, why companies do it because it makes sense on the bottom line. But, um, if you're not, if you don't draw the line somewhere, you'll compromise yourself into a commodity product overnight. Yeah. Well, you know, you, it's a delicate balance, right? It's kind of like walking a tightrope. You know, if you put too much into a product and price yourself out of the market, you're not going to, you're not going to get any, anybody uh, to buy it. Uh, at the same time, you've got to put quality in there so that you'll have repeat customers. So there is a balancing act that goes on. It's not, it's not easy. And I, I commend you for, for, uh, for what you guys are doing because, your your products are not overpriced. You know, when you when you compare your, what what you charge for an energy shot or an immune shot to a local uh, Starbucks, um, you're you're cheaper. You know, and um, yeah, and and so to 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 go back, so that's obviously a crucial part because to only talk about the health piece of it ignores the business aspect to it, and you have to talk about both because otherwise. If you're out of business, then you can't make good products. So, Nobody benefits, um, right? Nobody wins. Everybody <laughs> yeah. loses with that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so one one thing about energy shots is, and actually energy drinks, like they're, they're priced pretty high already. Yeah. And so yeah. I, I look at a lot of kind of natural or better for you parallels to existing products. And mm-hmm. you just feel like there's no way they can price themselves anywhere close. And one thing that was nice for us is we actually can have a sustainable business just charging a little bit more because yeah. the, the price on existing energy shots and energy drinks is so falsely inflated. I mean, I, I've, I've never seen... Um, any like behind the scenes info but just from what i know like if i look at the back of a supplement product i'm like wow you know these raw materials in this bottle cost them two cents probably really and it's selling for for 350 yeah you know what i'm saying and so yeah. yeah and so but it actually for us we were able to kind of price ourselves in a place where it's like you just have to pay you know five or ten percent more than you're paying mm-hmm. right now and you can have a vastly superior premium yeah. product. Yeah. And that's when, you know, your knowledge and your experience uh, in the supplement and food industry pays off, pays big dividends. Cause you know where you can, as you, as you just mentioned, cut a corner, but not sacrifice quality in a significant way. And I think that's great. You know, uh, I'm curious, uh, everyone's heard of green tea, but I'm thinking there's gotta be somebody in the audience, someone in the natural nation that says, what in the world is Gayusa? Never heard of that. So can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, so I first came across Gayusa. I'll try not to um, be too long-winded in this answer, but... I'll take I, your time. We got time. Uh, there's, okay. So there's a company that some of your audience may have heard of called Runa. Um, and it's a beverage company that, man, it must have been like 10 years ago, came out with this bottled guayusa tea and 
Uh, I first started drinking them back when I was, I was working at Harmless Harvest, the coconut water company. That was where I, where I kind of cut my teeth in the beverage industry and, and learned the ins and outs of it. But then I discovered this product and I was kind of just out of college and looking for that, a nice energy drink, but I wasn't really into coffee. Like I hadn't, hadn't started that part of my uh, caffeine journey yet. And this drink uh -huh. blew me away. Like I was just getting used to nine to five at work, you know, and I was just drinking this and I had felt so energized uh -huh. um, and just really clear and clean. And so that was like when I first discovered Guayusa because these guys um, basically went to Ecuador and discovered this amazing plant caffeine source, which down there, the Quechua and Quechua people like, they've been drinking it for thousands of years and they actually have a name for it. They call it the night's watchman or the night watchman. Um, okay. because it keeps them like energized and clear all night. Okay. Um, and so it has like this lore around it in Ecuador and we just didn't really discover it, discover it. And, um, you know, certainly not the U S until, uh, this brand really brought it here. And now you start to see it popping up more. There's another energy drink, um, called guru. It's a Canadian company. They do like a, kind of healthy organic Red Bull um, and they're using okay. it. And I, um, it, it's funny that you mentioned that because like on the front of our bottle, you'll see it says green tea and B vitamin shot. Right. So we, in other words, we kind of leave the Guayusa out of the messaging because people have no idea what it is. And we've tried, or I've even seen like Runa really tried to message around Guayusa. And I think it just fell flat. Like people didn't, yeah, really that care to know what yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah, it'd be um, like Nike starting off with the with the check mark alone, right? You know, it's like what in the world? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, like, it's kind of our secret. Um, well, insofar it's on the label or on the back of the label, <laughs> but um, it's like our secret booster. And um, even though we do use this incredible organic green tea extract that really delivers nicely, the Guayusa mm -hmm. is. Um, we played with, I think it was like 65 different versions when we were first launching the energy shots. Wow. And when we would drop the Guayusa out, we just didn't feel quite as good. Yeah, I um, believe it. it. We started feeling a little bit more of that like up and down that you tend to get. Uh -huh. um, and so in full transparency, like I said, the caffeine was the most expensive, or the, you know, the caffeine sources were the most expensive parts of our products. Specifically, the Guayusa is yeah. the most expensive. As you I might know that a, a similar uh, tea or leaf is uh, herba mate, is is uh, yep. kind of in the same family, is it not? It is actually. It's like, I think it's like yeah, it's a cousin, same um, genus maybe. But um, it uh, we tried yerba mate, as you might imagine. We tried guarana. We tried every possible organic plant based caffeine source out there, uh -huh. and. Um, I feel quite confident saying Guayusa is a cut above the rest, including the green tea, um, That's cool. where it, it just, it, it creates a far superior effect. And I would attribute a lot of the positive feedback we get about the clean energy aspect to our products to the Guayusa. Um, you know, the, the better, the better B vitamins and the green tea, they all help, but the Guayusa is kind of the backbone of yeah. the product. I got gotcha. you. So another ingredient in there is um, lion's mane and cordyceps mushrooms. So again, uh, many people have heard of them, but many people haven't. So talk to those ingredients a little bit. Yeah. So um, this is fun. I, I usually don't get to go this in depth into the back of the label. People just want to, <laughs> they just hear healthy five hour. That's all they want to talk about. But um, this is actually a kind of similar one. And it's an interesting convergence of like the health and nutrition side with the marketing side, because um, there are some people in the natural foods industry referring to what's happening right now as the mushroom boom, um, right. where people are really starting to get excited about them and, and get familiar with them. And in particular, I would say, I don't know what you would say based off your research, but lion's mane, um, reishi, I would say, um, which we have in our immune products, but um, and cordyceps, I would say those are probably the top three, maybe chaga, um, yeah. that people are starting to get familiar with, like on a first name basis, um, right. and starting to understand like, oh, okay, these ones are good for this and those ones are good for that. But, um, yeah, we, uh, 
<laughs> we when I say we, I'm mostly referring to um, well, my little team. But Sebastian is my my co-founder that I mentioned, who who really gets to the nuts and bolts of all the product development side. But we just love them, and we really we wanted to make like a lion's mane shot or you know a mushroom shot, and there are some products out there like that. Um, but in the end, we just felt like uh, it was better served our our brand as like another added ingredient to our energy line um and Mm. i i kind of stand by that still maybe there will be a day where people will purchase a a shot strictly with mushrooms in it for focus um or something like that but right Mm. now it's just kind of a nice added supplement and same thing like i know we took us this long to get to the mushrooms but we buy this amazing mushroom powder and that is one i don't want to speak on something i don't know enough about but that is one that if you're into that um, and exploring the the mushrooms, that is when I would definitely consult a qualified nutritionist on because mm. what I've heard, particularly from our supplier, is that many, if not most, of the mushroom products out there are um, mostly like the filler or the binder, and very little of the actual product. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that that totally makes sense. It's quite common practice. Yeah, so we buy we buy like a pure. Yeah, and maybe you know more about it than than I do. But no, probably not. But uh, I I do want to <laughs> just add this to what Ethan said is uh, they're adaptogenic, and that means they will stimulate where your body needs stimulating, and then calm uh, when your body needs to relax and, and chill out a little bit more. So they adapt to, to what your body is asking for, which is super cool. I mean, God has made some amazing stuff out there and to use them like this in a product is just, you know, just smart. And, uh, it, it just, it just lines up with my naturopathic approach to health. And, and I, I try to say this in every episode at some point in time, but I believe we maximize our health potential when we align our lives more fully with God's natural design for spirit, mind, and body. And God has provided leaves and herbs and and, and uh, fruit and, and these various things and caffeine sources for our use. And, um, you know, it, it's, it, he didn't put them in a laboratory. You know, when we have our, when we get our vitamins, the USP synthetics that are made in a laboratory, uh, chemically speaking, they might be a B vitamin or a vitamin C or, you know, whatever, but it's not the same as naturally occurring. And, and Ethan understands that. And that's why he's, you know, paying a little bit more for sourcing these products, but putting what's in that bottle, what needs to be there, what's supposed to be there by design. And we... Uh, the one of the hardest parts about being so involved on the product development side, particularly now that we're in this great space where we can make any functional product is like we I come across a new ingredient or, or a study, a white paper about a new ingredient that it amazes and fascinates me like on probably on a weekly basis um and there are just such incredible whole food plant based sources for almost anything that you need out there right um yeah. and yeah it just takes a obviously a good bit of research and like not everyone has a registered dietitian on staff like like i do but um you know finding brands people platforms that you trust to kind of do that i guess vetting for you um is is easier than ever and and I would say probably more helpful than ever too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Ethan, we spent a lot of time talking about the energy, but let's, let's talk just uh, shift gears a little bit. Talk about your detox product with the apple cider vinegar. What's, what's the magic about apple cider vinegar? So, um, the apple cider vinegar was, uh, my first product that I made. And, um, it was kind of like my first love, I guess. Uh, so while I was in that, you know, working in that, um, for that coconut water company, I just discovered using apple cider vinegar on a daily basis. I think I've read it on like a health blog. I, I was doing research for a product and I was like, huh. Um, so I've been using it that way for a while. And I don't know if you remember when it first started coming around um, or just being mentioned more. It yeah, was I'd like, say it, it started getting some traction in the late nineties. Okay. Yeah. So it was like touted as this miracle cure which i know Mm. people are justifiably skeptical about um and it's like one of the one of the things 
problem that I had when I first started was even just trying to figure out how to talk about it. It was like, is this for, you know, blood sugar? Is it for digestion? Is it for weight loss? What, what is, what is it for? Um, uh -huh. and because it kind of has this, it truly does kind of have this laundry list of, of benefits and, um, you know, hair, skin, nails, I think it gets mentioned for like kind of more, more cosmetic purposes mm -hmm. a lot too. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that was, um, that was really how I got into this was via apple cider vinegar. And if you look at like our very, very early marketing materials, it was all about apple cider vinegar because that was our main product. Right. And of course, since then we've, I mean, we just spent the first half hour talking about our energy line um, and we could get into immunity as well. But like, so we've, mm -hmm. we've obviously transitioned into other functions, but um you know, I kind of found myself getting in these like nutrition debates. So there are a lot of people who dispute it. Um, and all I knew at that time was that I, I felt great when I was taking it. I felt clear, like right. my skin was clear. I felt like my digestion was, was probably better than it ever had been. Uh -huh. Um, and then, you know, we read some studies about weight loss and there's some dispute over, um, does it make you lose weight because it actually burns fat or does it make you lose weight because it makes you less hungry, which it definitely yeah, does. I think it's a and satiety thing. That's my opinion. Satiety. Yeah. yeah. And me too. And, and so I, I think we, we and I kind of tried to stay out of, like, I don't want to stick my nose into, into super scientific debates that we're not necessarily like the, the most informed party on. Um, yeah. So, but we did, you know, like we have, we've had that product has been around longer than all of our other products. And it has a steady, uh -huh. like kind of small consumer base that just loves it. Yeah. And all I did at that point, that was when I was doing my own product development was take, you know, research, research with, with our RD, um, kind of what a like beneficial daily dose of it was, make mm -hmm. sure that was in each shot bottle and then add, you know, turmeric and black pepper and some apple juice in one. And then the other one had like, ginger juice and pineapple juice and just kind of create these little concoctions to make this amazing ingredient taste right. better. Right. Um, so that was how it all started was, mm -hmm. was because of the apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Well, you know, I think, uh, what you just said a moment ago about how do you feel afterwards? And, uh, I think that's important that a lot of people are not really in tune to their bodies, you know, and I, I'd say this, not just with your supplements, but with food in general, um, take notice of how you feel before a meal or be how you feel before you take that supplement. And then an hour or two later, take another assessment on how you feel and how, how is your energy doing? How is your satiety? You know, are you standing in front of the refrigerator an hour later after a meal? If you are, there's probably something missing. Your body's saying, right. I didn't get what I wanted. Um, you know, your memory, your mood, your sense of well-being, these are all indicators that that, that meal or that supplement uh, were good or not so good for you. And um, it takes a little detective work, you know, it takes a little tuning into your body's language, but, and it's worth the effort because it works. And, you know, as you said, not everybody enjoys the apple cider vinegar. Uh, I do, but uh, not everybody does. I, I, I totally believe in biochemical individuality and these things will react differently with different people. You know, there are people that just absolutely love coffee, you know, and they're, they're going to drink it all day long and that's it. You're never going to talk them out of it, right? I, I just think those people's bodies, their, their, uh, you know, metabolism, uh, just does really well with it. And, uh, but that's not everyone. That's certainly not me. I, I don't. Yeah. And I mean, the, the other side of that is, you know, uh, you're obviously familiar with goalie gummy. Um, yeah. like we had been in the apple cider vinegar space for a couple of years and actually got approached by a retailer about launching an apple cider vinegar gummy. It's like, huh. this is like four years ago. And we kind of did our, all our research and just didn't feel like it was going to deliver what it was supposed to, like that format just didn't work. Like you had yeah. to, first of all, you have to destroy the apple cider vinegar and turn it into a powder. Um, but then how do you deliver a functional dose in a tiny little gummy? And then if you have to eat 10 gummies to get the proper yeah, amount of acetic acid and now you're having yeah. 10 grams of sugar or whatever, you know, so we just kind of stayed away from it. Right. Um, and then that blew up into like the mainstream use 
of apple cider vinegar um really? is the gummy format yeah and so you know to your point look like if if there are people that take those and really feel that it's helping with them i'm not gonna argue with them uh, like right, all we right. can do is kind of look at our research um and say you know like well if you if you have to have 10 or 20 grams of sugar to get this tiny amount of apple cider vinegar there's probably a better way right. for your body and you're probably going to feel better if you find another way right. of taking right. it totally yeah. agree with that you know i'm not an expert in this area at all but i think it's worth mentioning i just i just got finished reading a book by dr stephen gundry uh i forget the title but uh He's been around forever. He's in his mid seventies and the guy's just like a machine. He just have, never runs out of energy. And he talks a lot in that, his latest book about mitochondrial uncoupling. And he says that the acetic acid in apple cider vinegar helps to uncouple your mitochondria. And for those that are unfamiliar, the mitochondria are the energy powerhouse of our cells. And if you are, if your mitochondria are struggling, you're going to be struggling for energy. And your body's going to struggle to do a lot of different functions. And when they, when the mitochondria uncouple, it makes them more efficient. And that's one of the things apple cider vinegar does. So it's, uh, if you want to learn more about that, I'll, I'll put, I'll put a link to his book in the show notes. I can't quite remember the title at the moment, but, uh, it was a good read, a little bit, a little bit technical, but a good, good read nonetheless. I've heard, I haven't read that book, but I've heard, um, of that, of that effect or that study. Mm -hmm. And, um, I will say to what extent this can confirm it for anyone interested. Like that's what our RDs say is that the, the true, I mean, there is a prebiotic fiber in apple cider vinegar that is, yeah. you know, adds to its health aspect, but the acetic acid is really the, the kind of golden nugget in apple cider right. vinegar. And right. For anyone, I mean, I might be shooting myself a small part of my business in the foot here, but I believe that acetic acid is available in about the same content in most vinegars. Um, and right? so I think so. And don't maybe don't quote me on that, but definitely in a few. Um, and so it's like apple cider vinegar has kind of risen to the top of like the the pile in terms of mainstream popularity. But, um, yeah. you know, just another way of saying like, you know, you can do some research and find one that works for you. I mean, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe you like uh, red wine vinegar on your, not on your salad. I don't know, but <laughs> salad, yeah, um, that, that's true. Yeah, but yeah, that's acetic true. acid. Yeah. Acetic acid is an amazing um, mm -hmm. component to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Ethan, we're running out of time here. I wanted to talk about the immune product for a little bit, but uh, uh, is there anything you'd like to say to that product if, as, as we wrap things up? About our immune line? Yeah. Yeah, all all I would say is, um, you know, while we're kind of going through each each function here, and you could probably say the same. We don't currently have. Uh, we've been working on a a sleep product for a long time. It's one of the more difficult functions to figure out a holistic answer to, yeah. and I'm sure you could do a whole podcast on on Absolutely. melatonin. And uh, yeah, um, we could probably talk about that for an hour separately. But um, <laughs> I'll it, have to have you back on. Immunity, yeah. Immunity is one of the trickiest ones in the supplement space. Um, there's there's little regulation around using the word immune um, in products and what constitutes uh, an immune claim. And obviously, with the onset of COVID, it's like it became a, a, a high demand function for people who are who are justifiably concerned about. Sure. Um, their immune health and their immune response. And so right. naturally, as with any kind of like large mainstream trend, a lot of people jumped on it. And I think that's just one, like if I were to send the warning beacon out to, to people who are consumers out there, it's to really vet, vet your immune products. And um, yeah. again, you know, we, I, I know I mentioned at the top of the podcast, like we've kind of been thinking about our immune health all wrong. Like, people up until recently the only thing you would get for your immunity is like when you were getting sick you run to cvs and get emergency or airborne <laughs> you know yeah. and just try to flood your system with vitamin c and hope that that did the trick um right, right, right. and uh it's an inconvenient answer but the the truth is you really need to build your immune response on a daily basis and part of that is just right. having a a good diet like we've talked about and that's usually the, the answer to most things but um look for kind of like you know daily immunity 
products and not just the emergency response panic button products. Right. Um, right. But with that said, to go back, I mean, you know, bioavailability is the crucial aspect of all vitamins. Um, and then you knew it about the methylcobalamin when it came to our, our energy product, but it's the same thing mm-hmm. with vitamin C. Um, so, you know, there are, there are food and fruit based vitamin C sources and a lot of products are out there using them. Acerola cherry is a great one, right. um, that your body will actually absorb and use. Um, right. and if you just see a product with only acetic acid on there, that's, that's just like, you're, you're just, that's just running right through you. It's not going to right. help you do anything. So, mm-hmm. um, and then we love the, the reishi mushroom for this yeah. function as well. Yeah. So huge. Yeah. We, we could do a whole, a whole episode on mushrooms, but uh, I, yeah, I, I wanted to keep that one short. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, you know, and I totally agree with what Ethan just said is that, you know, the, the time to think about immune is before you get sick. Right. And, uh, you know, if, for instance, if your vitamin D levels are low, you're going to have, you're going to struggle with, with viruses. And, um, it takes a while to bring your vitamin D levels up, your serum levels up. So you're going to have to supplement with vitamin D for, for a good long, good long time, maybe months before it gets up to the level you want. Um, of course, being outdoors and the sunlight on your skin uh, is important as well. But for many people living in, in uh, northern climates in the winter months, that's not really practical. So supplementation is recommended and maybe even necessary if you really want to optimize your immune function. So yeah, the time to think about immune function is before you get sick, not after you get sick. It's a, right. it's a huge point. So yeah. Ethan, if you wanted to just remind people of the most important thing we've talked about today, what, what would you like to tell people? Yeah, um, I guess what I would say is since we're on this supplement thing um, is to be careful and, and protect yourself. Um, because if there's one thing I've learned, it's it, with food and beverage and supplement products, it's that, um, you know, frankly, you can kind of put most anything into anything and call it anything. And so, um, I wish that weren't the case, but, um, it's really important to find, find brands that you trust and believe in. And there are the, the positive side is there are a lot out there. Like we're, we are far from the only one or the first one. Um, and you know you you can probably go through people like david to uh to find the good ones but um you know the nice thing about supplements is they can make health and wellness really convenient and and quick and kind of easy if you have if you go to the right people but um the other side is you can spend a lot of money and and kind of waste your time with a lot of them right. as well yeah absolutely for sure so ethan if someone wanted to get a hold of you what's the best way to do that well first of all my my email is on every single bottle and product that we make, and it's really easy to remember. It's Ethan at Ethan's dot com. Um, so love outreach and and feedback, and then of course our, our website um, Ethan's dot com. I'm going to end up saying my name about fifty times. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you know we're available on on Amazon. Um, we have some of our shots and powders nationwide in CVS. We're in Whole Foods. Um, couple other big retailers soon to come that I don't think I'm supposed to say yet, but, um, but we oh, are out exciting. there and, and you can come, yeah. Um, come find us and, and, and definitely shoot me an email if uh, you ever have any questions or want to read All any right, materials. That sounds or great. Anything. And Ethan's got a generous cool. offer, uh, 20% off your first order. Uh, if you uh, go to the show notes at, uh, I think this is going to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be episode 97. So it's going to be davidsandstrom.com forward slash 97. And you'll find a link in there to a 20% coupon for your first order at Ethan's. So I, I encourage you to do that. Cool. E- Ethan, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Enjoyed this conversation. Thanks. Me too. For more, go to the show notes page at davidsandstrom.com forward slash 97. There you can find a video as well as an audio version of the podcast and links to all the resources that we mentioned. And we just mentioned the discount code for Ethan's products. I encourage you to take advantage of that. And I always include a downloadable transcript that you can print out and read later if you want. If you're enjoying this podcast, I sure would appreciate you telling somebody about it. You know, this information is difficult to find. And if you have a like-minded friend who's interested in health and wellness from a natural and biblical perspective, I'll bet they'll appreciate you telling them about it. So I sure would appreciate you helping me spread the word. 
Thanks in advance for doing that. Thank you for listening, and I'll talk with you next week. Be blessed.